In light of the stringent sanctions imposed by Western nations, the urgent need for self-sufficiency in sourcing materials and components for Russian aircraft production has intensified. This pressing situation has catalyzed the development of remarkable engines that often go unrecognized. Yet, these engines are pivotal for enabling the IL-96400M to enter commercial operation, playing a vital role in the advancement of Russia's domestic long-haul aviation industry. So, what is this groundbreaking engine? How can it change the evolution of Russia's aviation sector? Let's find out. One of the most formidable challenges in aircraft manufacturing and certification lies in the engine. The timeline for an aircraft's launch hinges significantly on this critical component. In a significant advancement for the Russian aviation industry, the prototype of the PD-35 aircraft engine has successfully completed its first testing phase, marking an important milestone in the country's efforts to enhance its advanced aerospace capabilities. According to reports from one of the companies involved in the development, the engine has operated stably and met all the parameters set during the initial testing phase. The PD-35 is a Russian turbofan engine designed for long-haul passenger aircraft, developed by the United Engine Corporation. This powerful and modern engine offers higher thrust and improved fuel efficiency compared to earlier models. Essentially, it is an upgraded version of the PD-14, as confirmed by information on Rostec's website. The advanced development of this engine was recently showcased at the International Engine Building Forum held from October 23rd to 25, 2024, at the Exhibition of Achievements of National Economy in Moscow. At this event, UEC presented breakthrough technological achievements, including innovative blades for the PD-35 demonstrator engine. Among the highlights were the working blades and exhaust blades for the low-pressure turbine, manufactured using advanced 3D printing technology, which enables high-precision shapes while significantly reducing production time and material costs. The development and certification of the PD-14 engine by United Engine Corporation for the MC-21 aircraft has laid the foundation for a more ambitious program, creating a family of high-thrust engines based on the core of the PD-35 engine. So, what are its outstanding features? Firstly, during production, the core engine used in the PD-14 will be specifically expanded for the PD-35, with an additional stage added at the outlet of the high-pressure compressor. The key specifications of this engine are as follows. A thrust of approximately 35,000 kg force, a fan diameter of 3, 1 meters, a length of about 8 meters, and a weight of around 8 tons. Its powerful thrust is significantly greater by 16 kilogram force compared to the previous PD-14 engine. Thanks to these specifications, the engine can be used on a range of modern wide-body aircraft. It promises to be more efficient, aligning with the trend toward enhanced energy efficiency in the aviation industry. Secondly, another notable innovation presented at the forum is the fan blade made from composite polymer materials. By applying carbon fiber technology, engineers have reduced the weight of the component by 30%, demonstrating the project's commitment to advanced materials and efficient design. These developments in 3D printing technology and composite polymer materials are priority areas for UEC, laying the groundwork for the creation of the next generation of aircraft engines with enhanced performance characteristics. This project began in 2016 when the engine was developed. A year later, the project was ready. According to the original plan, the testing engine was to be completed in 2023, with the development process concluding in 2025, and mass production expected to start in 2028. However, these timelines were later altered due to the reallocation of resources to other engines, PD-14, PD-8, and PS-90A. This was announced by the CEO and Chief Engineer of ODK Aviad Vigetel Joint Stock Company in 2022. He said for PD-35, they plan to complete it during the 2027 to 2028 phase. Currently, due to recent events, this deadline has been pushed back by several years as resources have been reallocated to boost the production of PD-14, PD-8, and PS-90A engines. This is a necessary measure, but everything continues to progress. So. Which aircraft is it used on? Stay tuned to find out, but before we dive in, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Your support fuels our passion for bringing you the best in aviation. Thanks a million. The plans for this engine are quite ambitious with expectations for its application on aircraft such as the IL-96400M, the Russian-Chinese CR-929, and potentially the An-124 transport aircraft. Among these options, 
The IL-96400M is prioritized as it represents the only promising wide-body passenger aircraft project in Russia. This aircraft is also slated to serve in the Special Purpose Air Unit, Russia, potentially replacing the current presidential transport, the IL-96300. Currently, the IL-96400M is expected to be equipped with four PS90A-1 engines. From an economic standpoint, using four engines is less advantageous compared to utilizing two. While this may not pose a significant issue for government fleets, it represents a serious drawback for airlines. Therefore, replacing the four PS90A-1 engines with two PD-35 engines could enhance the competitiveness of the IL-96400M in the market and genuinely create opportunities for this aircraft to be utilized in commercial flights. Currently, priority is being given to the production of engines for the MC-21 and SJ-100, resulting in the mass production of the PD-35 being postponed until 2030, which is entirely justifiable. Long-haul aircraft make up only about 10% of Russian Airlines fleets, so addressing short-haul aircraft issues is paramount. However, the engine project cannot be delayed for too long, as there is a significant demand for long-haul flights in Russia and a considerable need for domestic long-haul aircraft. In the long term, these aircraft will be essential for domestic airlines, and this largely hinges on the advancements in engine manufacturing technology and the success of the PD-35 project. The PD-35, while not directly comparable to engines from GE and RR, has some key differences. First, this Russian engine is primarily designed to meet the needs of Russia's long-haul aircraft, especially for models like the IL-96400M and projects such as the CR-929, creating a significant strategic and market distinction compared to Western engines. Thus, the PD-35 targets the medium segment for wide-body aircraft rather than the ultra-large class. Additionally, it is entirely domestically produced, allowing Russia to maintain independence in engine technology without relying on Western companies. As a result, it has a strategic nature, focusing less on competing technologically with Rolls-Royce or General Electric engines, and more on fulfilling Russia's specific requirements. In summary, while the PD-35 may not match international engines in thrust or application, its market and development strategy set it apart allowing it to play an independent role rather than competing directly with other engines. According to you, could this approach lead to a more self-sufficient aviation sector or open up new markets that value independence from Western technologies? We'd love to hear your thoughts. The development of the PD-35 is especially significant within the broader evolution of gas turbine engines. The history of aircraft engine development has shown a steady increase in pre-turbine gas temperature capability an essential parameter indicating technological advancement. From the first generation engines of the late 1940s, which operated at 876 degrees, to today's fifth generation engines reaching up to 1626 degrees, this progression reflects leaps in engine technology. Presently, only 15% of engines in operation worldwide belong to this fifth generation. The success of the PD-35 builds upon the achievements of its predecessor, the PD-14, which was Russia's first fifth-generation engine produced at scale. The PD-14's development introduced 16 critical technologies, such as single-crystal high-pressure turbine blades with advanced cooling systems that withstand gas temperatures up to 2,000 degrees, and wide, hollow titanium alloy fan blades that boost fan stage efficiency by 5% compared to the PS90. Additionally, it features a low-emission combustion chamber made from metal alloys. Further enhancements include noise-absorbing composite structures, ceramic coatings on hot section components, and hollow low-pressure turbine blades. In your opinion, are these developments enough to ensure competitiveness against established Western engine manufacturers? Looking ahead, the PD-35 is expected to play a pivotal role in shaping the future of Russia's aviation sector. According to Russia's first Deputy Prime Minister, Denis Menturov, the engine is anticipated to be ready for mass production by 2030. Its applications include powering wide-body twin-engine passenger aircraft and transport planes, such as the modernized Ilyushin Il-96 and the An-124 Ruslan military transport aircraft. Completing the initial testing phase is not just a technical achievement, but also highlights Russia's growing capabilities in advanced aerospace manufacturing and its commitment to delivering competitive solutions in the global aviation market.
With the integration of modern technologies such as 3D printing and composite materials, the PD-35 marks a significant advancement in aircraft engine design. As it moves toward further testing phases, this milestone underscores Russia's ambitions to establish leadership in aviation technology. This engine development showcases not only Russia's technological prowess, but also its potential to compete in the international market for large commercial aircraft engines, where only 15% currently belong to the fifth generation. This milestone in the PD-35 program represents a convergence of advanced materials science, innovative manufacturing techniques, and sophisticated engineering, laying the groundwork for Russia's next generation aviation propulsion systems. As testing progresses and development advances toward the 2030 production goal, it stands as a testament to Russia's commitment to elevating its domestic aviation sector through technological innovation and engineering excellence. What do you think? Will this project be successful and help develop the IL-96-400M in the commercial market? Leave a comment below. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye and safe flights.